Lesson number one. An object in motion will stay in motion, and an object at rest will stay in rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. For example, as you can see, the ball is stopping because it's hitting the guy's foot, which is an external force. An object that is not moving remains at rest until something pushes or pulls it, like so. The tendency to resist a change in motion is called inertia. The more mass an object has, the greater the inertia. Another example of inertia. I am going to stop this train. Law number two. The force of an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. A change in motion occurs only if a net force is exerted on an object. If an object is acted upon by a net force, the change in velocity will be the direction of the net force. The more mass or inertia the object has, the harder it is to accelerate. The acceleration of an object depends on its mass. Law number three. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. As you see here, one guy is exerting a force forward and being pushed back because it's an opposite force. This guy is exerting the action force. This guy is the reaction force. The end.